Hello Mac Warriors, how is it going? Welcome to your daily dose of Mac Warrior Online. Today I'm playing the Panther because I wanted to play a nice little skirmisher that can also brawl and is mobile and is a light mech and can deal a lot of damage. So this is the Panther. Whenever you want to have something um, that, that combines mobility with firepower and durability, go for Panther. Why? Because of the quirks here. As you can see, we got uh, 21 extra armor points in the center torso, we got 19 in the left and right torso, we got 28 in the left and uh, the right arm, 13 in the right, it just has a lot of armor guys, this is so cool. So this is a light mech that can actually take a beating and with that loadout you have a lot of punch and sustain in the fight. So it basically plays like a medium mech brawler. We are running three medium lasers in the arm, it makes it so that we can shoot UAVs and we have 15 damage in that component and we have two SRM4s in the center torso which gives us a nice little burst here. I'm running an XL Engine 225, that is a relatively low and um, I think it is kind of on the edge here. So I want to have a little bit more weight for the jump jets and ammo to have actually a little bit of more mobility and sustain here. And therefore I'm tuning it down to a 225. If you don't feel like it, if you want a bit more speed, you can always bump it up. But again, this is what I'm going for today. As you can see again, four jump jets. It is really nice to jump around the map like crazy. And we are running five double heat sinks to round up the build here. So so it's a very straightforward missile and energy skirmisher. The skill builds look like that. As you might tell, I invest a lot of stuff into firepower. I make a cut here. I wanted to have everything or almost everything on the left side. So what did I go for? Of course, all the missile nodes, uh, the laser nodes that I could acquire here. And uh, I got um, heat generation, cooldown and uh, heat generation. That's basically it. So I wanted to have the, the DPS going here. As you can see, I have armor because the Panther has armor quirks and we amplify them with the skills here. This is a no-brainer because uh, it, it just gets so much value out of that. I have full speed weak and anchor turn here. I don't need torso mobility that much because uh, half of my firepower is uh, sitting in the arm and it has a very good torso twist speed already. Uh, I got 6% six, uh, 6, 6 of cool run, 60% radio deprivation and another consumable slot. And that's the build. I wish you all a lot of fun in the games that are coming. And if you have that, as always, don't forget to leave a rating or subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And now it's time to hit the battlefield. All right, first game of the day. We are playing uh, Domination on the Canyon Network. We are going to the center, hopefully not getting shot by everybody. Um, then we drop here. So staying close to the to the canyons is, is a good idea because you can at any time just okay. jump up and then fall down again. So wh why not? Also the Timberwolf is a great target because we have uh, our mechs in the outskirts on top. Uh, we can await uh, support fire. Acquired. Mm, I don't want to strike him. I want to go to him and deal some damage. It's an ATM Timberwolf with heavy medium lasers. If we underrun him, which is probably not Acquired. possible in our situation here. If we underrun him, we are fine. Oh, and that's out of range. Sadly, sadly out of range. He's not targeting me though. Um, hello, Supernova. Ow. That's fine. Wait, 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 wait. We can challenge you. I'm not going back. I'm going forward. You're going to to waste a lot of heat into my armor here. And I can just do that. I can just, I mean, he's out of position, right? Um, he should be hot anytime soon. All right, yeah, and here's uh, crit. That was good, thank you very much, team. That is exactly what I wanted to see. That was so valuable. Now we got a supernova off the battlefield, guys. Thank you, thank you for the follow up. I wanted to harass him, pin him down in place, and it worked out. We got another assault mag. Maybe we can do it the same way, uh, like like before. Gauss rifle. Double gauss is dangerous because pinpoint damage is not that easily spreadable in our mag. However, he's exposing his rear, and I'm going to commit to that. Uh, can we? Can we? Can we? No, we cannot. Okay, need to splash damage that is coming there. Oh, that's the ATM. Oh God. That was the Timberwolf, right? right torso, that was the Timberwolf. Commit to the Madrada to see, please. Destroyed. Thank you. Now, you know what? Now, go for the Timberwolf in the canyon, bravo. Ah. Alright. Timberwolf in the canyons, guy. Guys, a uh, Timberwolf in the canyon. Two Timberwolves in one canyon, guys. This is what I want to say here. Are you sure about this? Um, because you won't win this. I mean, you're jumping around like crazy. You're jumping on top of my dire wolf buddy. And he's in your back now. What do you think you're doing here? Um, you're dead. 
there we go. <laughs> nice. So, four and six, guys. Four and six. We need to get back to the circle immediately, guys. As quickly as possible. Um, how do we approach this? I mean, my mech is basically done. I don't want to be in the canyon too much. Uh, we got a component from him, though. The kid Fox. Six and six. We are definitely in it. Um, the thing is... I, my mech is not in the best shape anymore, target. and I need to find an angle to approach. The best situation would be New if my teammates acquired. would grind into the enemies. <gasps> yes, this is my target now. My missiles are getting wrecked by AMS here, big time. Help out with the hunchback, but I want the mauler. I definitely want the mauler here. Hello, man. Good day. And one more. Down he goes. Yeah. Uh, now the kid fox. Uh, it's 9 and 8. Somebody's still in the circle behind me, raining LRMs on our heads. But again, as soon as we got the Kid Fox done, it shouldn't be a problem anymore. I think that was the one with the AMS that shielded the Mauler in the first phase there. Uh, he's probably running around the side. I mean, I would do that. There he is. Whoa, machine guns! Machine guns! Get rid of that, please. Get rid of the machine guns. That's important here. Can we do it? Ah, uh, it was bad. That was really bad. I need to destroy his uh, left side torso. That's very important. Where is he? There he is. Down. Alright, that's that's more like it here. The thing is, my torso is critical. And they still have that, that enemy over there with the missiles. <gasps> let's run, guys. Let's run. I need to pressure that missile guy. That is my priority right now. There we go. Come on, push him. It's a missing ball. Yeah, I'm trying. Okay, I'm uh, behind him. Trying to grind through his rear. And I'm almost out of missiles. That's an issue. And at this point, I need to go for the Kid Fox again. Because the, the missile ball cannot do anything to me. But the Kid Fox can. And again, this is a... Uh, the problem that I'm having here, on top of my heat. Wow, what a game, guys. What a crazy game. And this is why I love the Panthers so much. Granted, we lost it. But you can just run around the battlefield like crazy. You can play it super aggressively. You can tank damage because it is very well armored. You have firepower. You have mobility. You have everything you need. And that all packed in a light mech. This is so much fun to play, guys. Um, but yeah, as you can see, we got one killing blow, we got six assists, three kermos damage, 783 damage, four components destroyed. In the end, it was not enough, sadly. We should have gone earlier to the Huntsman and destroy him, because he was a threat on the battlefield and he was the higher priority for us. Instead, we skirmished with the Kid Fox. Anyway, that was the first round and we are going over to the next one right now. Alright, second game of the day. We are playing Assault on the Frozen City and uh, my team is very static. Um, like... As always, and um, oh, let's, not, let's, not, let's not say like always um, or as always, but uh, as most of the time. And uh, the enemy team is uh, actually pushing, so I highly appreciate that. Oh wait, we have we have spotters here. All right, let's get into a skirmish here. I'm coming, I'm coming. Uh, let's help out our guys here. What? You're not moving as a locust? Okay, so you don't know how to locust. Uh, let's go ahead and destroy you then, very quickly. Mm, oh wait, no, let's go for the cheetah. Because the cheetah seems to be... Oh, I don't know. I think they are running now, are they? No, don't don't run backwards as a locust. Either you run forward or you don't run at all. I mean, you should always be running as a locust player. The other way around. Uh, that was bad. Okay, we go in now and then we need to move. You did? Yep, yep, yep. Okay, he's going to lure me in. But I need to get some cover because the enemy team is uh, pushing right there. New target oh, hello. Um, I can't destroy you. Easy. Very easily. Pop the cool shot, pop that UAV, call in some help. Uh, the locust is trying to get behind me now. That's fine. Oh, he shut down. Uh, yeah, give me that. Give me that. No. What about this then? I don't know. Again, that guy didn't know how to locust properly. Get wrecked! Why wouldn't you get wrecked, please? Uh, oh, he was fresh! Mm, okay, I think it's time to bail now. Yeah, my leg is open. 
team? Could you could you help me? <gasps> could you please help me? <laughs> oh god. <laughs> what a mess, everybody! What a mess! What let, let, let's watch the game to the end because I think, in my opinion, I did a good job, but I had no follow-up whatsoever. Look at that, my team is still at the base! Okay, um it's not over yet. Guys, watch left side, watch left. Uh watch left side guys, they are coming from there. Don't focus too much on Fox 7, Fox 6 there. Again, this is, what, this is what I was missing. We were bound in that skirmish for so long and I was hoping that my team would actually start moving, but they did not. So, um, yeah. We got a kill on the Locust, which I'm very happy about, but again, uh, maybe he was a beginner Locust player. Never stop moving. Even if you think that the enemy is bound to an enemy, as you could see. I was shooting the Hellbringer mainly, and then I just turned around quickly, shot him with my SRMs, and then that Locust exploded in a thousand pieces. So... Don't be too confident as a Locust player. Uh, always uh, keep your defenses up, keep your guard up, and um, you know, just run around. Mobility is your biggest defense. Okay, mm let's go for somebody else. Let's see what's going on on the battlefield. That Atlas actually should be pushing. I don't know what he is doing there. Sniping with small lasers. Mm. Come on, Atlas. Keep going, keep moving. Um, okay, let's watch the Marauder. Solid build here, ER mediums, LB10s, that is all an, an evergreen here. Yeah. That one is never bad, it's always good. Uh, that one is down. So yeah, I took a lot of beating there, fighting like three enemies at the same time. Of course, I could have bailed earlier, maybe I should have done it. Not at the same time, I was so confident that I could just fight that, that Hellbringer there. And I definitely could, if, again, I had more backup. <laughs> I'm not salty. Uh, again, I, I did what I what I was meant to do, just keeping the enemy in place, uh, committing to kills, and in the end, we got it. So, again, early kills, early damage is so valuable because you can snowball from there. If you take out early enemies or enemies early, then um, they won't contribute to the fight late game, and that makes it so that your team is in, in a huge adv advantage. And I I gladly uh, give my mech life for that. Anyway, got one kill, three assists, three kill most damage dealt, and 409 damage with two components destroyed. That was your daily dose today, and I hope you liked it. If you did, don't forget to leave a rating or subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And if you want to support me, go down below to the description. There is the link to my Patreon page, and I hope to see you on the battlefield. Goodbye.